हेलो फ्रेंड्स मीट माई फ्रेंड आयशा लेट मी टेल यू शी इज वेरी इंटेलिजेंट राहुल यू आर इंटेलिजेंट टू बट यू प्रेफर समवन टू स्पीक हाईली ऑफ यू एनी वेज दिस टाइम आई स्कोर्ड मोर मार्क्स देन यू इन फिजिक्स येस दैट्स वाई यू आर हेयर टूडे What is the name of the topic which we will be discussing today? Today's topic name is refraction. Till now what have you learned Rahul? We have already learned about light, reflection and how the rays of light get reflected by different objects. But Aisha, there are some questions in my mind. Like What will happen if those objects are not opaque but transparent? Will the light still be reflected? Will the rules of reflection still apply? Will the rays still follow a straight line path? In today's video we'll discuss these questions and learn about a new phenomenon known as refraction. We'll do a very interesting activity to explain refraction which we can do at our houses too. To perform this activity we need a bowl, a coin and water. I put this bowl on the table and put the coin inside the bowl. Rahul, can you see the coin? Yes. Very good. Now slowly move backwards from the table until the coin is not visible. Can you still see the coin? No. Now I'm going to put water in the bowl without moving the coin from its position. Rahul can you see any difference Yes I am able to see the coin but how is it possible Aisha It is possible due to phenomenon known as refraction Firstly the rays of light while entering your eyes were reflected by the coin but when I filled this bowl with water the rays entered your eyes were refracted and not reflected due to which you could see the coin So did light change its path after refraction? You get it right Rahul, but to understand this concept in depth, we have to use this rectangular glass lab. To understand refraction of light through a rectangular glass lab, we need a glass lab, a white sheet and four oil pens. After placing this lab on paper, we make an outline which will help us further. Fix two oil pens vertically such that the line joining the pens is inclined to the edge. Try to see the images of both these pens from the other side. Fix the other two pens such that these two pens and the images of the first two lie on the same line. Remove the slab and the pens from the paper. Draw a line marking the first two pens with the pencil which will intersect the slab at O. Do the same procedure on the other side and give this point the name O dash. Draw two perpendiculars at O and O dash. Name the angle formed between the lines and the perpendiculars as angle of incidence and angle of emergence. Here the angle of refraction will be formed instead of the angle of reflection. Produce a straight line from the marks of the first two pins. Then join O and O dash. A deflection can be seen between both the lines. Or it can be said that the ray of light changes its path while passing through the glass lab. This phenomenon of changing the path of light when passed through different transparent media is known as refraction of light. The incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal to the interface of two transparent media at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. The ratio of sine of angle of incidence to the sine of angle of refraction is a constant for the light of a given color and for a given pair of media. This law is known as Snell's law of refraction. The constant we get from the ratio is called refractive index. The extent of the change in direction that takes place in a given pair of media is expressed in terms of refractive index. In addition to it, the refractive index can also be represented by the relative speeds of light in different media. If the light is traveling from medium 1 to medium 2 and the speed of light in the first medium be v1 
and in the second be V2. Then the refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1 is given by the ratio of the speed of light in medium 1 and the speed of light in medium 2. This is usually denoted by N21. Like this, the refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 is denoted by N12. If medium 1 is air or vacuum, then the refractive index is called absolute refractive index. Absolute refractive index is simply known as refractive index only. Vacuum and air are considered as rarer mediums. Some of the other materials are considered as denser mediums. You can check the refractive index of several material media with respect to air. Wow! Aisha, you have explained this topic very nicely. I didn't know that you are a great teacher too. You get it right Rahul. I want to be a teacher. Alright. Best of luck. Thank you. We shall meet you folks in our next video. Till then. Bye-bye.